And we're live! Welcome to the Wednesday Nights! A group of friends that get together, play role-playing games on Roll20. On Wednesdays, we live stream our adventures here on Twitch. Be sure to visit our website, thewednesdaynights.com, that's nights with a K, and to follow us on Facebook and YouTube, where you can watch all of our previous episodes. Now, let's meet everyone. Tonight we have Bryce. Hello, hello. I'll be playing Trillic the Sorcerer. And Eldermane. Hello, I'm Eldermane, and I'm going to be playing Jasper, who is a ranger. And Keith. Hello, I'll be playing the third, a half-orc paladin of Vengeance. And still Aventus. Hi, I'm playing Pold the Goblin Fighter. And I am GM Jeremy. And so tonight is actually episode eight of the Hunt of the Beast campaign. And so we're going to be playing fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons set in the Forgotten Realms. And with that, we're going to pick up where we left off last week. Dun, dun, dun. As it's loading. And for our viewers, Hans will not be joining us this evening. Work has called him. And so uh, he has deemed work to be... Can we say if fan favorite Hans. he is that is yeah he's the fan favorite Hans. yeah and uh he's decided not to be here for his fans just gonna say it that's right i said it <laughs> there it is <laughs> he's letting you guys down oh man you can let him know it yeah let him know in the comments um, let him know in the comments how you feel about that like where's our bagpipe playing you know dragon born bard you know it's just I'm disappointed. I was going yeah. to I want yeah. more bagpipes. That's what we're going to put in our comments. Yeah. We need to have more the bagpipes. Introduction. <laughs> Hashtag need bagpipes. I love it. Yeah, that's right. Let the world know how you feel. Awesome. So, where we left off is uh, we are here in. Let's see. Make sure I get this centered on our screen over here. Uh, where we left off, our party had uh, was just attacked by yet another police robot within these chambers. And this one, man, this one was just hauling butt. I mean, it was just traveling through all these different corridors. I really thought uh, Pold was dead. I really did. <laughs> I was just like, oh, man, I'm never getting pulled back. But uh, you did manage to catch up with it. Uh, Pold managed to escape, and you destroyed um, yet another uh, police robot. And that has taken you into a new section of uh, these chambers. Right on. So you guys Can you me. describe the corridors? Metallic. You know, gray, cold. There are these lights that kind of run around the top edge that kind of light up all the different areas. And the pink, foofy things? Yeah. Are you referring to... Uh, are you referring to... Yeah, that area down there. The little, oh, yeah, you can go check that out if you like. Foofy, I guess that's a goblin term. <laughs> yeah, it might be a type of... Yeah. So go ahead and uh, you're like, what is this? And uh, you go ahead and check out this little area. You, what you see down here is uh, a growth of fungus. I see a theme. I see a theme. Oh, guys. God. A fungus growing down damn you Yurik I know he, he he beat us here he's a bastard he really is this is a long long hallway um and it continues on even oh more. I pick up the head the head sorry that was a a quote from the last campaign nightmare recurring nightmare 
Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like, uh, I mean, there's just a ton of these uh, pinkish fungus mushroom things. I'll pick one up. Okay. I'm going to stand back. <laughs> All right, you grab one. I smell it and lick it. Uh, you smell it and you lick it, and it smells like and tastes like a mushroom. And it looks like a mushroom. Stab it. it. Goblins eat mushrooms. I'll eat it. Yeah. It uh, tastes like a nutritious mushroom. Nice. I'll, I'll grab a few. All right. So you head on in there and you start grabbing some mushrooms. And I'm going to have you stop right there. As you're reaching down, grabbing up mushrooms, and you've got about, I don't know, like 20 of them, we'll say. Um, you grab one of these mushrooms and it shrieks super, super loud. And it just echoes, 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 echoes down this hallway. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's see here. I don't think we healed up. <laughs> I don't think that one was ripe yet. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Yep. Boom. So you come in there and you go down, you grab that thing and it just, it's just making this horrible, horrible screeching sound. And let me move this out of the way. There we go. Can I start stomping on him to try to shut him? Yeah, you stop. You're stomping on him and it's just like, right, it's just a horrible screeching sound. Um, so the goblin, he starts like stomping, 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 stomping and running out from these chambers are more of these sons of bitches. These guys, goddamn veggie, the veggie pygmies come running out. They're coming from all over. I think we found their uh, home nest and and tripped to their uh, doorbell. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yep, these guys. They're are... out here. Yep. And so, let's go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, you man. son of a bitch. What have you done? Madness. Madness, I say. Get some more of these guys all coming out. All right. And then, uh, let's see. Um, where is Brass Butt? Well, we should for him as well. All right. Well, it seems only fitting that the Veggie Pygmies would win the initiative there um you were started stomping on some of these guys we'll say you destroyed one of the one of the shriekers while you were stomping let's see one two three four five six right on let me grab this guy what is going on come on roll 20 work with me all right and he is going to attack Pold. AC 21. Hits. All right. Did it roll damage? Why didn't it roll damage? Okay. Um. Oops. Four points of damage from his dagger. And it looks like one more is going to get an attack on you. As I 
remove some more of these guys. Okay, one more is going to attack. AC 20. Hits as well. Let's just do this. Three points of damage from another dagger. One is going to run towards Trillic and attack him. AC 14. That is a hit on Trillic. I will cast shield. Against the dagger? Yep. Okay. So my armor class is 19 now. Okay. Till the end of this round. All right, that guy is going to run in because he's a veggie pig and he doesn't know any better. And he's going to stab at you with the dagger and miss. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's going to attack the third. AC 20 is a hit against the third. Four points of damage from that dagger. And then I'm going to get rid of this dead robot. And now it is Trillic's turn. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a frontline sorcerer right there. I am going to uh, firebolt that guy in front of me. Okay. Crit. Nice. Sever limb with the firebolt. Look at that. Six points, Six points of damage. Sever. You rip off, you shoot that firebolt, it rips off, you know, his, uh, what does it rip off? Roll the hit location. Rips off his right arm as he goes sprawling, and it just launches him. Let's see here, I gotta zoom out. Come on. Blood. Launches him back about 10, 15 feet. Veg pygmy guts go everywhere. Jasper. All right, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark on that dude. Okay. And then I am going to move in. Does it take up a spell slot here? What's that? Does that take up a spell? Like, is that casting a spell? Uh, it's, it's casting a spell, and it's a... Uh, uh, bonus action to cast and it's concentration. And uh, I'm going to attack the same guy. Okay. Okay. Little lag. Oof. Seven to hit. Unless that's uh, flank. So we've got uh, you got advantage there from uh, oh. flanking, right? Because Trillic is right there. Even better. So okay. that gives you the crit. Fantastic. Two crits in a row. Look at that max damage. Right on. All right. So we are looking at a total of uh, eight, 14 points of damage for max damage. You swing the Kakuri. Blah, he goes flying that way in bits. Okay, now I'm able to move that spell onto another, and I'm just checking to see if it takes an action or a bonus action or whatever. Uh, but my intent is to do that. So you can move on while I check that. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I get a second attack, so I'm going to take it on that guy. Okay. In uh, to the east there or west. Okay. Go for it. Okay, and 
23 to hit. That is a hit. For five damage. Dead. Right on. Nice. So that guy is wasted. Just back to back. Slice. Slice. These veggie pygmy guts go all over. All right. Now that takes us to brass butt. And uh, how tall are these guys? Um, I would say they are about four feet, maybe. Where is Brass Butt? There he is. Let's see, what kind of abilities this guy got? Bardic Inspiration. He's going to do some Bardic Inspiration. How about that? He starts playing his damn bagpipes. He inspires others through his... Phenomenal bagpiping. Uh, that, and to do so, bonus action on your choose one creature other than yourself within 60 feet who can hear you. Uh, he is going to uh, inspire the third. How about that? So you get oh, an inspiration thanks. die. And then uh, and then that's all he's going to do. Pulled. You're getting surrounded by veggie pygmies while stomping on mushrooms. Um, I am going to bonus action disengage, and then run over here and attack this guy. Okay. That's a hit. And you slice him in half. The third. It's your turn. Yeah, I was waiting for that. What? You yeah. just run straight in there. Jumping over the well, dead veggie well, pigments. Well, I'm wondering... Yeah, I'm wondering if we should wait for him to come out. And I can no, go, kill go him. for it, dude. Be the plug. Heal me! <laughs> <laughs> You're the healer. Hammer. Yeah, yeah and, and, and your take. god. And the tank. I'm going to smash this guy. That's a hit. 24. That one looks different. Five points yeah. in. Yep. Smashes to bits. All right, and that is going to take us to in the initiative. And, oh, Brassbutt's almost dead. What's up with that? Yo, yo, I like that listen, robot. Listen to my pipes. Oh, come on. Jasper. There's lightning fast reflexes wins the initiative. All right. Um, I'm going to run in there as well. And uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to put that spell on... Um, I'm going to put that spell on that guy the uh, hunter's mark which one uh that, that one okay the, the one just behind the guy i'm gonna attack right the one now the fancy headdress and on. yeah and i'm gonna um attack the one directly in front of me what? 12 to hit and that is a hit Okay. Four points of damage. All right. Whoa, they all went down. God, this thing. 
this thing. This thing. What happened? Oh, uh, we ran into this last oh, time. We ran into this last time. It's alright. Let me... He moved one health bar and everyone was attached for some reason. Yeah. And all health bars went down. I don't know what the deal is with these guys. Um... Yeah, okay. That seemed to have fixed it, but... I'm just gonna have to watch these guys. Okay. And I'll go ahead and take the second attack. Okay. If he hasn't fallen. He has not. Oh, Oof. fumble. All right. What happens now? Oh, no. Oh, you geez. hit yourself with the hand axe. Right Seems to be the oh, theme of man. the show. Oh. Oof. Oh, man. Oh. This is going well. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Brutal. That's, that's rough. That's rough. Yep. All right. Hold. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna jump. You're gonna run up the third, and I'm gonna land. Or try to land here, and then I'm gonna take that one out. That's standing over Jasper. Okay, so let's go ahead and do athletics so you're gonna run up there you're gonna do some athletics to try to do some fancy Can I use uh, acrobatics instead of athletics are you trying to do some sort of fancy flip you're trying to run up there and do yeah a flip? I'm trying to like, jump I'm trying okay. to run up the third and jump over the third yep go for it and you fail you run up there you start doing some flips you smack right on to uh, the back of the head of of the half-orc. He doesn't really feel it. He's just like, poof. Uh, and you are unable this round to go any further than that. At least I'm not knocked out. <laughs> this is true. All right. The third... Sure, rub it in. I'll uh, smash that guy that's over. Poor little Jasper. Okay. Aw, he's sleepy. That's a critical There we go. Stun. Stun. And then roll your damage. While you guys are doing that, I want to change one of the settings in the game. This might uh, refresh the game, but um, sit tight for one. No, 17, by the way. 17 points of damage. This thing is. Uh, nine. This thing it's is nine. so, so dead. The um, Nine plus eight. The eight is a uh, double damage roll. That oh. roll twenty automatically does, but we use a different crit system. That's so right. that's basically the double damage roll. But okay, that's weird. All right, making some changes. Sit tight for a second. See if it refreshes the screen on us. Yeah, roll roll twenty is behaving a little odd this evening. I'm just going to throw that out there for everybody. All right. You hit this guy. Splat. He is destroyed. And Trillic. I will step forward and then firebolt the remainder in the rear. Okay. 14. That is a hit. Four points fire. 
four points of fire damage, or four points of damage from the firebolt. Ah, he's flailing around on fire. It did it went down. Oh, son of a... All right, let me fix that real quick. Uh, boom. Behold the power of Trillic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. The, uh... Okay, let's do that. Save. Okay. Minus four points of damage. Alright. My turn. What are these guys going to do? Alright. I'm going to re remove some dead bodies here real quick. These guys. So this army of veggie pygmies. Just continues to spill forth more from my vegetable stock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The stinks it's of stew tonight, my brother. The stinks of Urux magic. It, it really does. Yes, it yes, smells for exactly sure. Like him. His evil transformations, perversions of nature. It must be stopped. Urix was here. Seriously, is all Jasper is going to get to eat is hard tack this whole trip? <laughs> Brassbot's been eating the veggies. It doesn't seem to have affected him. Look at him. <laughs> and we have mushrooms now. <laughs> you are too picky of an eater. All right. You're human. Oh, and don't forget the displacer beast. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> God, this human just doesn't want to eat. Meanwhile, the rest oh, of us are fumbles. getting fat. So one uh, tries to attack Trillic. He's on fire, but uh, he fumbles and drops his little dagger. Um, now, yeah, oh, come on. They came out and had a lot of success right off the start. What happened? I don't know. Uh, one attacks uh, the third. You see, it's a miss. Another one attacks the third and misses and all of the rest of them moved oh they got slings let's see let's have uh remember the first time we ran into these guys we actually had trouble we kept dropping everything i kept getting knocked out yeah all right some slings go flying past um uh, jasper and the third and pulled and that brings us to uh, Brass Butt. He's just going to continue to play music and laugh and watch. And that is going to take us to a new initiative. Jasper's got three more rounds. And now the veggie pygmies go. This one over here is on fire, and he is now dead. From the fire damage. We got a couple of guys here who are going to attack. Ooh, there we go. Got a critical hit on the third from 
the Veg Pygmy right directly in front of him. Stun! Look at that. And he's going to take four Too points bad. of damage. And you are stunned for four flipping rounds. Jesus Christ. Too bad I'm no. immune to stun. Are you? Yes. Sweet. That is pretty cool. No. No? You're not immune to stun? I don't know. <laughs> Lay on hands, divine no. sense, savage attacks, divine smite. God, you got all this I'm other shit on here. <laughs> you yeah, guys are both knocked out? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, that's the, the front line. I thought monks were the only ones that uh, I think eventually become immune to stun. I might be wrong about that. Anyway. All right. He falls down. Uh, this one back here, he's going to fire a sling at Pold. That's a hit. And it's a critical hit. Boom. Making up for all those fumbles. Triple damage. Six points of damage to Pold from a sling. Our front line's crumpling, guys. Yep. Uh, that reminds me, with the damage I took from knocking myself out, yeah. um, I believe I was supposed to make a concentration check um, for the uh, Hunter's Mark. Um, unless you're saying that unconsciousness just dispels it. Uh, I'll take a look at that here in a minute. Wow, that's a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot of Vegapygmies. Yeah, it yeah is. this guy back here, he's just continuing to shout, you know, in some veggie pygmy language blah, 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 you know and those mushrooms are still screaming man if anybody just had a fireball right now that would be great I don't have a fireball but I might be able to cook something up <laughs> all right uh, are those all of them no that's a lot of sling bullets. It is. <laughs> well, you guys are like, what, fourth level, fifth level now? You guys can take it. Well, for four rounds, I don't think I can. Take up on consciousness. <laughs> yeah, there, there is that. Hold on, conscious. Yeah, three more rounds. Yep, yeah, okay, so these guys have all gone. And now it is Pold's turn. <laughs> Bold, you look up, you get hit with this sling, you look up and you just see a sea of Vegapygmies coming at you through the hallway. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, how does it work? I mean, you guys are stunned. Can I, like, juke positions with you guys? You can, can, I, like... you can jump on top of him. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to bonus action second wind. And that's what a D10 plus my level of hit points back. Uh, Reroll that. Oh, great. Reroll it. Oh. Yeah, you roll it. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and reroll that D10. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> one more, and that's it. Whatever it comes up is it, man. Even if it's a one, I don't care. <laughs> Well, I, I I rolled it again. I mean, I want to be fair, right? I'll give you three rolls. One more, but this is it. Whatever it is, it is. Boom. You were meant for a two, man. Sorry. I tried. <laughs> Six points back. Okay. And then I'm going to jump on top of the third and attack this guy okay that is a hit nine points of damage he is splattered uh, 
All right, Trillic. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, jump on top of Jasper. And Jasper, I apologize now because I do have a tell for all the slapping in the face you're about to get from my jostling about. And I'm going to breathe down this row. Five feet wide, 30 feet long. Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I hit all the ways out to here. And your breath weapon is? Uh, 2d6, half on save, which is the DC is 8 plus my Constitution Meyer modifier plus my proficiency. So that would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's what it's a save of what dexterity? Yes, dex dex save. Yep, target number twelve. Oh, look at that! Roll the twenty. So half damage. Yep. All right. To the front one, two, three, four. To the front six in front of me and Jasper. It's thirty feet long. Okay. So, you only roll 2d6, not 3d6? Oh, at 6th level. Yep. 6th level. All right. So, so it goes all the way back to this guy here in that line. Gotcha. All right. Okay, well, I am... You damage a lot of them. Damn it. And they all jumped out of the way in unison. <laughs> They're all... I know, that sucks. Oh, well, for actually, I need to roll for all of them, so hang on. Right now, I'm trying to... Because they're such low two, hit points, three, it's either one four, shot or worth five yeah, wasted hit. Yeah. The first one takes half damage. He dodged out of the way, but let's see what his buddies did behind him. All right, so he, come on, minus, oops, there we go. And the shrieker, I see a shrieker in there. Yep. The, uh, let me move him out of the way. Come on, too many tokens, the screen's too small. Let me move this over here. Sorry, There's so many guys here, I can't do it on a small screen, so I need to... There we go. All right, so this guy... And this guy... There we go. All right, so the first one dodges out of the way. The second one... Dodges out of the way. The third one. Come on. Why can't I see it? I'm showing a 16. He dodged. Yep. How many of these do you get? Just one or? One, Six two, of oh, three. how many times can I breathe? Three. Yeah. Once every long rest. Four. Lane. They all dodged. Oh god. Yeah, that sucks. What about this creature? Does he just die? Yeah, he just died. Okay. God, that sucks. Still. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I failed you. No, you damaged. You just. All these guys are like all burned up now. Um, and your brother can do the same thing. Yes. So now it's the third's turn. And so you've got two more, two more, no, three more rounds to be unconscious. Rounds, yeah. uh, brass butt. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm pretty short. Yeah. But well, you're standing on top of. Yeah, he can breathe around you. And so he is going to do the same thing. It's like I'm. 
I'm coming, brother. 30 by 5. Yes, yes. And he breathes down the hallway as well. So he'll, he'll hit 4 by my count. And so... 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, look at that, two of them take full damage. This one, dead. This one, dead. Well, roll, what was the damage? Because even half might kill him if he rolls high enough. The, uh, oh yeah, what is the damage? He got 2d6. It's so like if he does 10 or 12 damage, it might that be in my kill him even half. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. kills all of them. One, two... Rasput saves three. the day so far. Right on. And four. He just... What was up with that guy? Oh, he, he dodged out of the way. It didn't matter. So he's dead. This one's not. There we go. Just burns a bunch of them. Show off. <laughs> he laughs. And new initiative. Jeez. Okay, let's grab this here. Let's see here. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. All right. The third. All right, you've got two more rounds unconscious. Jasper. Jasper only has one more round unconscious. This was his last round. He'll be up next round. Let's get rid of that. Trillic. I'm going to step back. Okay. Does he get a free attack? Um, sure. He'll swing his little dagger at you. Misses. Okay, and then I'm going to firebolt the chieftain. Alright. 23. Nice. That's a hit. Oh, fuck. One point. Shall I let your cigarette, sir? <laughs> Catch his headdress on fire. He looks like Yellowbeard. <laughs> right. Pulled. Oh, I forgot to roll for him. I will uh, attack that one right there. Okay. That's a hit. Dead. All right. And then I'm going to move forward. Okay. Move forward through a pile of burn. Is that a doorway next to him? Veggie pygmies. Oh my gosh, I can't even see anymore. Surrounded by dead bodies of veggie pygmies. Is it? I don't know. Let me look. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yes, that is a doorway. Let's see here. Yep, that's a doorway going into a room. And there's a doorway going into a room over here. Can you uh, clear the dead bodies? Uh, in a second here. That thing's gone too. Yeah, the breath weapons would have killed them. Yeah. And let's see, where are the other doorways? 
Well, we're thinning the ranks at least. Surely this nest ends somewhere. Oh, Jesus. I think after this, it has forced me to go carnivore. I'll never touch vegetables <laughs> again. All right, there we go. There we go. Or maybe just not sentient ones. They're living, aren't they? Biologically. There we go. They may not be self sentient. Oh, come on. Where's my... Or self aware, whatever. I don't know. I'm not drunk enough for that debate. Uh, oh, what? Oh, I must have. Did I? Del I must have deleted the guy I used to roll the turn order. Is that what happened? Oh, that's funny. I don't Maybe. know. I don't know. You they were last. For, they uh, did have a three. Effect, they were last. Yeah, I thought they were last. I think I deleted them. Um, okay. So you never did anything. So it's their yeah. turn. So these guys are. Hmm. It's gonna go there and attack. It's gonna go there and attack. It's gonna go there and attack. There. Yep, these guys are monsters. And... Is there anywhere in this cosmos Yurik hasn't corrupted yet? <laughs> are we truly too late? <laughs> He has taken to the stars, my brother. All right. Oh, man, there's more. I needed to scroll over and didn't see those other <laughs> ones over there. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. All right. So this one is going to attack Pold with his dagger. AC 12. Misses. Another one attacks with a dagger. AC 16. Hits. What kind of armor are you wearing, Pold? What do you wear? Studded leather. Two points of damage. Okay. Shield? No shield. I don't have a shield. Be nice if I had a shield. AC 14. Come on. Misses. Okay, so you got hit once uh, for two points of damage. Some of these other ones are going to start throwing their slings. Um, and they're going to be throwing slings at, we're going to say two at Trillic, two at Brass Butt, two at Pold. Trillic, AC7, AC10. I step aside, they miss. Okay. Two at Brass Butt. 21 and a 12. I think one of them hit him. Yep. And he gets hit <laughs> one point. And then at pulled. One hit. For one point of damage. And then now it's a new initiative. Oh, Jasper. Getting it out of the way. Shit. All right, pulled. So pulled. You have a really high... pulled wins initiative. Pulled is gonna uh, reach into his uh, bag and pull out a flask of oil and yell, "Trillic, fire!" And he's gonna throw it right here. Okay. Flask of 
coil thrown at the ground. I mean, are you going to throw it like an attack, like you're trying to hit that guy? I'm trying to hit the ground and just splatter it all over. I mean, I guess you could hit the guy. I could roll to a hit hit the guy. I mean, if you miss... You like... know I'm unconscious. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're <laughs> underneath me. Behind him now. Oh, yeah, you're behind me. Okay. All right, you throw that flask of oil at this guy. Uh, you miss, but it hits the ground over here. We'll say... Um, we'll say... Let's see. Point at the guy again. Uh, like this guy. Okay. Was it the guy I'm aiming for? We'll say that this area here. That's an effect. Splatters, and you've got oil kind of over this uh, 10 foot square area. Yes, yes. Uh, the third, you will be up next round. And these guys go. All right. They're going to start. Let's see. Jasper is going to be up taking an attack this round, so I'm going to ignore him right now. These guys are all going after Pold, who's right in the front. AC8. That's a hit. That's a hit. Got hit with two daggers. For a total of seven points of damage. And then these guys are going to throw their slings. Two again. Told you've done your part. Retreat. Two again at everyone. Here comes two at Trillic. AC 21 is going to be a hit. <laughs> Rolling the dice, it says. Ooh, four points of damage from one of those slings. Um. I'm sorry I got distracted. Those two were hits on me, right? Yeah, you took uh, seven. Okay. And then four points to Trillic. And then, let's see. Um, I think the 14 hits Brass Butt. It does. Okay. Uh, Brass Butt gets hit with one of them. Two points of damage. And then two slings at pulled. AC 13. And a critical hit. I think the 13 <laughs> misses. Yeah. It's going to be a stun. Triple damage to pulled. Got you right between the eyes for six points of damage. All right. And now it is Jasper's turn, who is now back up and in action. Yep, and I pick myself up off the ground and attack the guy directly in front of me. Okay. And let's get this going here. 21 to hit. That's a hit. Six points of damage. Dead. All right. And getting up off the ground is half move, full move. Oh, you're up. It, it, it the that whole thing um, took until just now. So now you're up. You attack, and so that was your. You know, you're good to go. You can take your movement. All right. Because all right. Well, then I'm going to take a step forward, straddling that guy, yep. and attack the next guy. Okay. And. That would be with the hand axe. The bastard thing that just knocked me out for 13 to hit. And that is going to be a hit. For six points of damage. Dead. Let the lawn mowing begin. <laughs> yeah, these are all the guys that Trillic burned, so they were already uh, halfway down. So 
Yeah, now it's Trillic's turn. Little. So I'm gonna um, shout out to my brother as a suggestion. Brother, you should heal yourself. And then I'm gonna cast Firebolt at the Pool of Oil. Alright. Firebolt. <laughs> Critical hit. Look at that. Boom. Flames. Flames. And you're screaming from the uh, burning veggie pygmies. Let's see here. Let's find some fire. The uh, the screechers are gone too, right? So the, that screeching yep. has stopped? Yep. Okay. Yeah, the breath weapons took those out. Right on. I think fire does five points of damage for two rounds. From the oil. These guys are all dead. They're all flame flailing around. Ah. Brass pot, I'm sure, is clapping in glee. Yeah. You're his best friend now, pulled. Cooked veggies. Flames. And let's see, that fire should be a little bit bigger. Come on. There we go. The flames are dancing higher. They are. <laughs> All right, and now brass butt. Sounds like maybe he should be healed. What does he got here? I know he's got some sort of healing as long as he has slots left. Uh, let's see. Must be a spell. Yeah, it is a spell. It takes a slot of something. Uh, he's got Cure Wounds. Come on, close that. Close that. Um, it's got Cure Wounds on here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he has a slot. Come on. Ooh, yeah, he has slots. Yep. All right. So he heals himself. 23. I think I put him back up to full. It does. Wow. Full. Nice heal. Did he really heal 23? It says 23 hit points of creatures. Holy shit. Is that right? Yeah. 4 plus I 3 plus 8 2 plus 6 plus 8. He rolled an 8. He rolls 5d8. Wow. And then what's this 1d8? Wow. The, um... Let's take a look here. Why is it in here twice, I wonder? Oh my gosh, hold on. His spell is wrong. Cure Wounds is 1d8 plus your spell casting ability modifier. Uh, hang on. Oh, per level. If he casts per, it. Yeah, if he casts it at a higher level, it goes up. Yeah. No, he... Okay. There was a sleep spell in here named Cure Wounds. Spell sends creatures into a magical slumber. 5d8 hit points worth of creatures. Good grief. So he cast that on himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so hold on, let me reset his. Um, so he he had full. So let me just do a quick little long rest here. Um, so let's go back. Well, now he's fully healed. The um, I'm gonna fix it in a minute. We can adjust that. Cast at first level. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't miss sessions. Oh man. 
Let's see here. What the heck is it? Yeah, now it came up sleep. What is going on with this character sheet? Hans. Hans is what's going on with that character sheet. Okay, let me try that again. I'm going to move this character sheet over here. Let's try that again. And come on. Cure wounds. Oh my gosh, what is going on? This is driving me crazy. All right, um, I'm just gonna do it manually. He's just gonna. Yeah, just roll a d8 and add whatever. Yeah. We should be drinking and fucking by now. Mm, where is that? <laughs> That's such a great line from that film. It is. Right. Let's give him 20. Yeah. Alright. There it is. Okay. Uh, and then now that takes us to a new initiative. The third, waiting on you to roll initiative. Sorry. We all went so hard last round that we're all burned out or something. Look at these rolls. Yeah. Jesus. All right. This guy, he's going to attack Pold with his dagger. AC 17. That hit. And that is for two points of damage. Everyone else is holding their action. Um, let's see here. Nope, not everyone. Behind us. Yep. Oh, fuck. And then... This guy... What What happened behind us? There's a police robot. The veggie pygmies have called in for friends. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Let's see, where... They're in league with the robots. What? Where? To the south, behind us. Yeah. Toodaloo. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep, coming from around the corner, you see a couple of Vegapygmies pygmies come running around. Right behind that, you see one of those police robots. And it reaches out, and it grabs that veggie pygmy right there. With its tentacle, it just wraps around it, grabs it. What the hell? Yes. And now it's Trillic's turn. I'm going to fire Bolt the Chieftain again. And that's a hit. Three points. So four total now. Okay. There we go. 
around. All right. Let's see if I can adjust my browser a little bit here. Pold's turn. Uh, bonus action, disengage. And I'm going to move over here. Underneath where, where that dead, dead veggie pig. You're gonna go play dead, really? Are you serious, Paul? I have six hit points. Paul, what are you doing? <laughs> he's all smearing tomato plant guts. Yeah, all over. he's hiding, crawling underneath the the mutilated bodies of veggie pygmies. All right, uh, Jasper, your turn. All right, so this guy uh, adjacent to me is still up. Is yeah, that right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to slash at him. <clears throat> 11 to hit. That's a miss. In the second attack, same guy. 12 That's to hit. hit. And the damage is four points. Um, is he already damaged? He was. He's dead. Okay. Well, that will won't matter then. Okay. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. The th I'm just going to hold my ground. The third. I'll uh, heal my... Uh, am I up now? You are up now. Yeah, I'll uh, lay on hands myself. Okay. Initiative. I mean, I assume it's still initiative, or are you guys disengaging? Because you have this wall of fire now. Initiative it is. Ah, pull, don't run off. All right. Hang on one second here. I'm trying to. Okay. The third. So is it, how big is this wall of fire? Huge? Or yeah, it fills the whole corridor there. It's all lit up. It's got it started out with some oil. Now there's like four vegetable-based veg pygmies in there on fire, burning up. The veg pygmies I can't really go back. Yeah, the veg pygmies are not. I'm gonna hold my action <laughs> with my shield up. Okay, ready for them to come through. Okay. Pulled. Um, I'm going to peek around and I'm going to shoot my short bow at the, uh, the leader right there. All right. Nice. Go for it. That's a short sword. Oh shit. Sorry. That's a hit. And then I'm going to use a superiority dice to add um, some damage. Okay. And use the uh, menacing attack. So it needs to save... Or be frightened. Okay, so I guess how many superiority dice are you throwing at this thing? I I can use one superiority dice, and it you and it adds its. Because um, you use superiority dice to add damage, it, right? 
That's what the one came up. Right, but the, the menacing attack, if you read it, it adds the damage. You add your superiority dice die to the attack's damage. Okay, roll. so the maneuver is not that you're and adding superiority. And then it superior- makes a wisdom saving throw versus... Um, okay, so, so what you're doing is... 13. You've attacked with the short bow. You did eight points of damage. Yep. And then you're using a maneuver, a menacing attack, right. which allows you to add a superiority die to the damage roll. And then he's got to make a wisdom right. saving throw. Otherwise, he's frightened of you, right? Right. Okay. So let me grab this guy's. Let me find his. You know what? I'm also... Wait, is that a bonus attack? Okay. doesn't say that it is it is or not. Can I also do Fury of the Small and add my level to the uh, damage as well? Which would be another four. Uh, hang on. Why is this not opening? Okay, what was my target? What that was my... is the save DC. What's that? Thirteen. It was thirteen. Right. What was my target number? Thirteen. Okay. So he makes that save. He's not afraid of you. Um, uh, you cannot use Fury of the Small because um, he's not that much bigger than you. These guys are pygmies. Oh, gotcha. All right. The Trillic. I'm going to jab pole with one of these stim packs we found. <laughs> Let's try this one. Oh my gosh. What was that? Um it was healing. Yeah, I'm trying to find it here. Um is that what we called it? Was a st- I'm using... Yeah, no, I'm just calling it a stim bag. It was some injectable liquid, basically like a syringe injectable, that it was, I believe, purple or pink, something like that. Do we like know that it was a healing thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, like, injected. Let me see if I can find it. You guys getting high? <laughs> right. Two green syringe vials. In parentheses, stim packs, question mark. So I'm just calling them stim packs. But there were two green syringe vials. Now we have one, because one empty one is now sticking out of the butt of Paul. <laughs> He's all run forward <laughs> to shoot him. Sure looks like, stick. <laughs> I hope that's healing. Uh, that or you're now a veggie pig, we will find out. <laughs> oh, man. You said you used these before? I don't remember this. Um, green is it? Uh, let's see. There were some bottles, you guys. Mm, no. Gosh. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um. You specifically said a syringe with green liquid. I know <laughs> that. That's why I'm like, wait a minute. Is that the stuff I think it is? Um, we'll say uh, you only had one of them, huh? Well, I had. Uh, we have two, but I, you only used one. Okay. Uh, yeah, he gets healed for four points, we'll say. I'll roll Yay! With Good as new. <laughs> All right. But your arm feels and now you're no, orange. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> and then I'll move in a little bit. Uh, let's see. If I can't see the police robot, it's not real. <laughs> right. This veggie pigment comes running down here screaming. Uh, the rest of these guys are holding their action. Jasper's turn. All right. Um, <clears throat> just so there's some kind of forward momentum while this fire is going on, I'm going to throw a dart in the one that's directly in front of okay. me. It's a hit. Four. 
Four points. All right. And that'll be it for me. He is hurt. All right. How's Trillic doing on on life? Ned no, doesn't have an eye. Oh, I'm peachy. Okay. So much so, I'm thinking of running through this fire. <laughs> Get stuck on the other side. Oh shit! It's that or the police robot. Oh, there's two of them. What? What? Hey, if he gets the other pygmy from what we've seen, they're going to take him to some sort of prison and they'll probably not be back. So Boom. hopefully the second one will get the other pygmy. <laughs> Shit. All right. So this guy. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. That's as far as he goes. All right. And now... I right, really, you got this wall going on. It's up to you whether... Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's do this. They're not run. Oh, they didn't run through? <laughs> no, their buddies are on fire in front of them. They're not running through. They're just like shaking their daggers and and uh, spears. <laughs> okay. And how long does the fire last? Well, it's only it been, dying down, right? it has literally only been like 12 seconds of game time. Uh oh. And Jasper wins initiative. All right, we'll throw another dart. And here we go. 17 to hit. That is a hit. For four points of damage. It is dead. Sorry, it's been really laggy for me at the moment. I've been getting a little bit of it too, primarily when it's like rolling. Yeah. Um, that's my turn. All right. Oh shit. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yep, get ready. <laughs> get ready, bold. A grappling tentacle comes flying at you. Make a strength check. Uh -huh. It's pretty low attack. It's a roll strength. Oh, look at that. You avoid it. <laughs> so with its second arm, it fires a laser pistol at you. AC 13. Misses. Okay. Oh, come on. This thing. So leggy. All right. Trillic. I run through the fire. All right. You're going to take... Are you immune to fire or something? Are you immune to fire? You have resistance to fire damage. Resistant. Yep. You're like, mm, feels good. And then I'm going to uh, shocking grasp this okay, one. Let me move this guy. That Seven is a hit. Of damage. Dead. Okay. 
You fry him. All right. Shit. Now we're split. Bryce, we're split. Or uh, Trillic, we're split. Split. This guy in this is no this good. Guy in the back, you see him pull what looks like a bow off of his shoulder, but in reality, <laughs> laser pistol against Trillic. Hits AC 23 for two points of damage. Yes, that hit. And, oh, dang it. I keep deleting my guy that I'm rolling the initiative with. Anyway, the um, this guy is going to jab with his dagger. AC 15 against Trillic. Another guy. I cast shield. Another guy is going to go AC 11. And then we're going to have two guys throw some slings at you. AC 18 and AC 21. 21 hits. You get hit with a sling bullet for three points of damage. And now, this guy is going to lash out again with his, wait a minute, these guys already went. Now, and Trillic went, pulled. Yeah, we're on pulled. Pulled, yep, pulled. Pulled is going to grab one of these dead pygmy things, and he's going to hold it up in front of him and hide behind it as best he can. Okay. Okay. To try to lure the police robot to grab that thing. Okay. The third. Shit. Trillic, you kind of put us in a situation, huh? No, it's fine. You're fine. Well, should I attack the police robot or charge through the fire and, and battle these guys with you? Probably the robot, because Pold is pretty beat up. <laughs> I'm hoping maybe... GM Jeremy will take some pity and have Brass Butt use another healing on pole. Oh, yeah, you guys just tell me what. Uh... I'm just having Brass Butt go last, so. Because, I mean, I can handle the pygmies right now. That's not a problem. Oh, you're going to get grabbed. Oh, shit. I don't have a whole lot left I can do to the robot and what I have I'm trying to save till the very bitter end that we. Okay, well, I'll smash him. Go for it. You're the biggest, toughest, bravest we have. And hope third, really you're our one. only hope. <laughs> when, we, when I take him down. 12. AC 12 is a miss. That's, and now... Hey, use your inspiration. Yeah, oh, use yeah. the inspiration die. What's it? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's add to it. Okay. So 16. So AC 16. That is a miss. And Oh, that's right. We need a 19. Shit. Let's see. Brass Butt is going to sing a sad song, I think. Or maybe a healing song. What can he... What the fuck did these guys do? <laughs> Bards. Jesus. He can... He can uh, cure wounds. Kind of. A damn thing doesn't work right. Um, let's see. Just roll it manually yeah. again. Yeah. So you want him to heal pulled? Yes, please. Right. Boom. Oh, let me re roll it. You know, you know what? You're taking the two. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Plus his. Plus his bonus, which is like three or four. I All want right, to say. make it five. Got a total of five. Yay. And now it's a new initiative. All right. Pulled goes first. You're holding a dead pygmy.
I'm it's gonna thinking. make a dance. I'm gonna run forward with it and try to entice it with this dead pygmy. Uh, okay, so make a uh, strength check to carry this veg pygmy that's about the same size as you. Yep. Well, that's a strength save. Arr! I need a strength check. Oh, sorry. Yep, so you're carrying this thing. And you start shaking it at the robot. Alright, these guys are going to start attacking Trillic. Stabby stabby with some daggers. Cash okay, and then some slingy slingy with some slings. One of them hit. I think the 22 hit you. Yes, it did. Two points. Two points. And then that guy in the back who's got that little laser gun. Boom! He's going to shoot it at you, but he misses. And... Police robot is going to move to subdue the half-orc. Rolls a 20. Seriously? Make a strength check. Roll strength. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Every single yes. time I'm freaking... Yes. Subdued by the tentacle. Was that at the third? Boom. Yeah, he's got you. Hey. Whoa. Aren't we, don't we have advantage? Why do you have advantage? With a dead pygmy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought no, I thought his little song gives me advantage too. What, what song are you talking about? The whatever bard inspiration. That was way give back. You, you had that die for like a while. You never used it. I think it lasts like ten minutes. Advantage? You don't get you don't get does. advantage for ten minutes. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I thought it. I thought it gives you advantage as well as the. So the bardic inspiration. Oh god, these fucking bards. It doesn't. It doesn't give you advantage. It just gives you the die. Damn it! It didn't take the bait. <laughs> Robot. Yeah, it's just the. It's just the inspiration die. All right. The now it's Trillic's turn. Oh wait a minute! This thing grabbed you. Ah, I forget. That's right. So this the robot grabbed. Oh, come on. I have to move you out down here. One, two, three, four. And takes off. So he just... Whoosh, right? Takes off around the corner. And let's see. Come on. Let go. Ugh, for crying out loud. Yep, that goes there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm not going to mess with that. Okay, now, Trillic's turn. <clears throat> okay. Going to cast Scorching Ray. Three rays of fire. Going to cast two of them at the leader, the first two at the leader. And the third one at the guy in front of me. Okay. Scorching Ray. A 19 out of 21. That, those are both hits. The third one is a miss. Seven points of damage. That's 14 to the leader. The third. You now have a chance to break free from the subduing tentacle. I shall do that. 
Ooh, look at that. Nice. Until Jeremy Ooh. rolled. <laughs> Breaks free. And that's all I can do. Now it is Jasper's turn. Can I move half my movement? Sure. Back. Move half your movement. Take three squares. This thing only moves like 18. Go for it. <laughs> no, it's it... like a 20 foot reach. <laughs> I know. It's got like a 60 foot reach, I think. No, it's 30, yeah. 30 foot. All right. Jasper's turn. All right. Well, since no one has communicated anything, um, help the third. Yeah, we don't know that anything's happened. Nobody has said anything about him being taken. Yeah, he just ran off around the corner, um, and then he's gone. Pulled is the only well, one that saw it. I mean, I'm not to meta back. or anything, but you guys, you can Cuisinart through all those guys pretty quickly. I know the problem is the firewall, and I was trying to rationalize taking the damage of the fire going through it. But I'm uh, I'm gonna not leave a comrade alone. Go through the fire, deal with whatever damage is on yeah, there. Yeah, take four points yeah. of damage from fire. I was gonna run back out and help. Cause they're yeah. struggling with the robot. It's... And um, I'm gonna attack the guy directly in front of me. Go for it. That's a hit. So, Kang? Is he already damaged? Uh, nope. Okay. And so I get the uh, Colossus thing for an extra... <gasps> damn thing. An extra four points damage. Oh my god, so this thing total. is so laggy. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. Let's do this. Okay. Second attack. Uh, yes. Um, is that guy still up? He is. Oh, wow, okay. Um, he did eight points total. Oh, eight points total? He's down. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to press forward and... Um, you know what? Screw pressing forward. I'm just going to attack that guy. Yeah, just press forward and attack the guy in front of Trillic. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, that's no good. It's still not even showing up on my screen yet. Oh, fumble. Uh, that one. Although that is... I, um, that is oh, you have advantage. That advantage. 16. Yeah. Whew. Dodge that bullet. Five points damage. Dead. All right. Now that takes us to a new initiative. So let me clear that. And initiative. Shit. Trillic. Third, you okay? You have no idea. If I... <laughs> no idea what happened to the third. <laughs> if he keeps making his strength checks, but well, the guy seems to roll 20s against me. You were... Every single you time. You rolled some 20s that last turn. No, I'm just saying from the last game. Oh, I yeah. I think it, it, every time I got I'm, attacked... I'm, I'm feeling real good for you right now, though. <laughs> I'm feeling real good. <laughs> Positive. I feel it's your turn coming up. I feel right. it. I feel it's your time. Man, this it's game, your time to stand. This game, it feels like football in many ways. I'm just like I'm fighting so hard just to get you know one yard. I want to fire both the leader. Okay. Four. 
Football would be a better game if there were fireballs. <laughs> right. There you go. There you go. Ten points of fire damage. Die, you motherfucker! Man. Is he still up? He is still up. Oh, come he's... on. He's taking like almost 30 points yeah. now. All right. Damn. I'm hoping it's a hive mind, kill him, and they all just drop dead. Or stunned, or something. Alright. Subduing tentacle on go. the third. <laughs> Boom! Gotcha. Damn it. Shit! And... No, he rolls a five against you. <laughs> I don't get it. Oops. Let's move. This might be the lowest he's rolled, and I still couldn't get it. right down this way. Everybody's like, what's happening? What's happening? Let's reveal. And zoom out so our viewers can see as well. As I reveal these different areas in which the police robot has taken the third. And <laughs> he dumps you in a cell. All right. Oh no, there's three of them. Oh, Jasper's turn. Bad. Oh my god. Yeah, we won't have to chase bullet. him far. Third, um, he might be uh, staying the night in the in the dump. <laughs> cool. Little pokey for you. And attack the guy in front of me. Okay. And that is a hit. 14 to hit. While you're doing that, I'm going to take the movement from my other robots. Eight points of damage. Dead. And attack the guy next to him. Okay. 17 to hit. That is a hit. Four points of damage. All right. Uh, unless he unless he's damaged, but he doesn't look to be so. Uh, does not look like he is either. Come on. Man, can't wait for these roll twenty updates to happen tonight. Jeez. Oh, there they all went. Oh my gosh, I just changed it. <laughs> oh, this dumb thing didn't change me. Oh, come on. Oh, the lag. The lag. You're killing me, roll 20. All right. Let's put that back. And now I'm going to do this. Save. I should do it. Any second now. Any second. There it is. Alright. And now these guys go. So that veggie pygmy is going to stabby stabby at Jasper. Armor class 23. Hit. Three points of damage. Let's move okay. these dead guys out of the way. This guy's going to move forward. Some stabby stabby. Sorry, misclicked. 22 at Trillic. Make sure to add that spell slot back. That hits. 
Yeah. 18 at Jasper. Uh, hit. So, one point to Trillic. Four points to Jasper. And... We'll have that guy fire one of his lasers again at the scary dragon creature. AC-12. These laser pistols suck. Oh, miss. Thank God. Let's see. Ah. And then there's one guy over here. Pulled. Your turn. He's going to scream. The police fuck! He's got the orc! And I'm going to run and then um, dash to there. Okay. All right, he takes off running. The third. All right, so this police robot grabs you, races down around the corner, dumps you in that cell there, the, and the door just shoom, right? And it's not bars or anything like that. You're just in a gray cell. Your turn. I'm going to try to hit my hammer against that door. Okay. Go ahead and roll a, to hit. Just don't fumble. You hit the wall. Roll damage. Five points. And it just rings in the chamber. Did it look like it did any damage to it? it looks or? like it did five points of damage. So there was a dent. Exactly. All right. That's about it. Initiative. Man, you guys have like, it's like an all out war going on in here. You got fire. You got people being captured. You got crazy robots. You got crazy vegetable <laughs> pygmies. It's chaos. This party is split. You never split the party. Oh, fire in the middle. Exactly. Jasper, and you win initiative. Okay, continuing the assault. Did Brass Bud do anything last round? He did not. You guys just tell me if you want him to do something. Uh, he's going to want to spot direction so we know which way to go when we get, go out of this hallway. That's a hit. 22 to hit. Five points of damage. Dead. Which one was that? Uh, the one directly in front of me. Dead. And then uh, second attack is going to be the one directly in front of Trillic. Okay. That's a hit. 17 to hit. Seven points of damage. Dead. pulled okay so pulled is gonna go one two three five. he's gonna go here now are all these doors um you mean doors versus doorways i gotcha um this right. one is a doorway this one is a doorway doors 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 This is a hallway. This hallway continues as well. Shit. And that's what that looks like. Well, he's going to dash again. Okay. All right. And that'll be it. Okay. All right. Fetch your pygmies. Oh, man. You have really messed these guys up. 
Are they running I yet? No, that's what I'm gonna look at here. What do I want these guys to do? Because you killed a lot of them. Just this do way. a morale check. Yep. That's what I'm thinking too. Their leader's got to be hurting too. All right, here. Where are these guys at? There it is. Yeah, these guys mottled gray brown coloration. Yeah, uh, so this guy, this leader, starts shouting some gibbery gook. Blah, 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 blah. Right. These guys all stop. Stop attacking. And now it's Trillic's turn. I roar at them, and then I run back through the flames, dashing. Okay. All right. This guy. One, two, three. Come with me, brother. Another police robot enters out of this room. This door over here goes whoosh. Police robot hovering out. Starts to come out this way. Yeah! Yep, heads over there towards Pold. Subduing tentacle comes flying out as it sees as it sees Pold over there. Whoa, look at that. I think it's got him this time. Strength. Boom. Oh, He's got you. Oh, natural twist. I know, me too. Boom. Roll off. And, uh, no, nah, mine came up higher. Not 23. If it was both totally equal, I would have said yeah, but it grabbed him. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'll, I can't even get all the way in. I can only get here. And this other one. And the third. Uh, I'll attack again. Okay. Uh, but I'll add my thunder Boom. strike to it. Pull, do you hear a, a loud bang sound inside the room? Thunderous smite. It's another oh. 10 points of damage. Excellent. Go ahead and roll initiative. Now, the pygmies are not rolling initiative. They've kind of given up. They've stopped. And they're putting down their weapons and bowing. Like the Ewoks in Return of the Jedi. Yes, the they're all like, they're all like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> as long as they don't start singing that yub yub song. <laughs> yep, yep. If that if that happens, the slain is on. <laughs> All right, the third. I'm hitting that door Go again. It. Does it look beat up at all? It's got some dents in it. Oh. oh that's a twenty. Why is it? That's interesting. It doesn't say crit. Because you rolled a 19. But it was a natural 20. No, you rolled a 19. Oh. You rolled a 19. Oh, that's why. Okay. Roll your damage. Boom. Five more points of damage. Jasper. All right. Jasper's going to put a mean look in his face. <laughs> do the do the I'm watching you thing with the two fingers to the, to the leader, you know? Uh-huh. 
and he's going to do this as a, as he's backing towards the fire, and then at the last minute, just turn and dart through. Okay. So, Dang, what kind of damage there? Four, four more, more points. points. You keep, that's twice. You took max damage. Right, and on the... Uh, let's Extra see half here. to jump through or anything? Nothing? Yeah. He'll live. Got a little burned. It is burning oil. That was one. Dead two, pygmies. Okay, I think I have to be there. And uh, and then I'm going to cure wounds myself. Okay. Trillic. What do you want to do, Trillic? Yeah, uh, I'm going to go one, two, I'm going to run one, two, three, one, two, three. I sprint to there. Okay. Pulled. I'm going to try to break, for, break free. Let's do this. Oh, shit. Not this time. I want to be screaming. <laughs> the third, you hear some screaming. Hold! Hold! Little buddy! Pull, do you faintly hear? <laughs> Pull. Pull, little buddy. Pull. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, stop. Let's see here. Such sad strength checks on both counts. I did shout at Brass Butt to follow me to Cliff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll bring him down too. Okay. Perfect. Okay. He comes sprinting down as well. He'll take a dash. All right, so pull that dumps you into that room, you know, closes the door, you know, like Star Trek, just, pshht. and probably one more round of initiative, maybe. Let's do initiative. Pygmies are still down there. Ooh, uh, ooh. Uh. Jasper. All right, I'm just going to dash, which takes me to there. And that is going to be the end of my turn. Okay, the third. Now, can I do an open doors or anything on this? Strength check to it's open you, the it's door? It's a wall. And you're pounding, pounding that hammer into the wall. You've done... I mean, is it work? Yeah, you're, you're making dents in it for sure. Is it crack? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then I'll keep bashing on okay. it. Oh, there's that fumble. Jesus. Oh, man, you break the oh, hammer. No. You're like, no, a little handle breaks off. You're like, no. Awesome. Fuck that. <laughs> Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> You're like, oh, man. Oh, here I was banging this hammer against the wall. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that sucks so bad. Now now we may now we may need seriously think about regrouping here. Regrouping? Uh... <laughs> regrouping? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, the survivors, I mean. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
All right, and so this guy. As you're coming around the corner there, Trillick, you see the uh, robot, the police robot, just kind of um, dashes across the, the hallway there. Moving uh, super fast like it, like it always does. And then, let's see here. And then, yep. And now it is Pold's turn. Uh, I'm going to try to investigate this room to see if there's any, like, vents or anything like okay. that. You start investigating. Roll investigation. You're like, wah. Wah. <laughs> Nothing but smooth walls. Where's the door? <laughs> Spinning in a circle. You're not even sure which way is north, south. Uh, which way did you come in? Trillix turn. I'm gonna dash down south. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and so we'll end the uh, initiative. <clears throat> Robots are off doing something else. We don't need to keep rolling initiative. You guys tell me where you're trying to get to. I run in, take a quick survey. Yeah, so you come into this room. There's a desk. Looks like a little office or something. Um, there's a door. So this the do this door is closed, but you touch the handle. Opens up. This door, same thing. There's no color on the, on the handle. Touch it. Opens up. Into here? Yep. Oh, okay. The store? You open it, you touch it on the wall. It starts to open up, opens up like maybe like six inches, and then it jams. Look all warped and stuff. <laughs> it is. It's kind of bending out towards you. Well, that one's obviously <laughs> broken. No one's in there. Go to the next store. I'll try to rip it open. Yeah, make a strength check. Oh, there is someone in there. I help him. I aid him. Uh, both both be rolls. Well, okay. There's a third strength check. Go ahead, Trillick. Help him out with the strength check. Oh, you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> no, he you ro rolled a save. Oh yeah, he rolled a save. Oh, oh oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah, you just want to click on strength. Yeah, I know. I, why am I having <laughs> Okay, the two of you combined managed to pry the door open. I'm crying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sitting there crying. <laughs> so holding your hammer. <laughs> holding my broken hammer. It's okay, it's all over now. <laughs> no, it, won't, it won't be okay. It won't be Where's okay. Pole? You're in a, Where's Pole? You're in a yeah, hallway together, here filled with. Him. You're in a hallway here filled with uh, doors. I don't know. I think he went north somewhere. I heard a little voice or something screaming. I I would be cussing and just throwing a fucking fit. Maybe this, we should let him so. calm down a little first before we open the door. We gotta get out of here. These things are animals. Quickly, maybe quickly. your uh, maybe your brother can play some soothing tunes for him. Brassbutt, search that desk. Yes, brother. Look for any of those key cards. <clears throat> yes, brother. He starts rummaging through the desk. 
All right, what do you guys do? I'm helping him run, just rummage through the desk. I got an 18 to investigate. Yeah, I'm I'll try to open this door for him. Well, how do you know he's in that door? He's yelling. All the cursing is <laughs> <laughs> This is the. Jeremy wants us to open some other. Oh no, you guys do whatever. Really, I'm just saying, like, crying. you, you know, realistic. You guys have no idea, right? I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Trillick walks in. Well, he's like, he said he was throwing door throwing a fit right. there. Can can we not hear him? I heard him go right. But I don't hear him making any noise. He's in there spinning in circles. He doesn't know which way's the door. Uh, okay. How about I roll one one d six or one d five? Yeah, roll 1d6. I start knocking on the door. That's the door I open. I don't know, whatever you count to. One, two... Well, you decide. I'm not going to tell you guys what to open. <laughs> I'm going to open Pold's door. <laughs> okay, then. All right, you touch it. <sighs> Opens up. Pold, you see the door open up. out Trillick help me maybe there's some other captives here you want to open some of these other doors yeah let's open this top door okay or they could be real criminals guys we are spent we need to get out of here before they return we need to rest heal quickly quickly we'll we got see what if we this... came for we can come back. Ugh, so there might be some, some people trapped up here. So I'll yeah, run and I'll we'll survive hit. another day. Come I'll, on. I'll open up go. this one and I'll keep running and I'll open up this one. No. Okay. No. So you open up one, there's a dead there's Rest a dead run. veggie pygmy inside. Oh like a dried it husk. It has a warhammer on it. it. Just has a dried husk of a <laughs> body. <laughs> Pulled runs down what, like this side? Yep, I open up both of these doors. I just run and go... Oh, man, shit. Just got fucking real. Yeah. You open up these Like a little two. kid that comes on the elevator and starts hitting Boom, all the buttons. Boom, motherfuckers. Boom! Boom! There it is. Boom. The fuck is that? Oh, what is happening? Why? Wait a minute. Dun, 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 dun. Is that is that a is that a, 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 is that a that wasp? Is you're talking about? I think it's a waskly little weasel. It is a waskly <laughs> inside. <laughs> it's a young looking gentleman. He was sitting holding his knees and looks up and sees you guys. Meanwhile, this guy runs like hell. He's so handsome. Oh, he's so handsome. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> well, we don't know what he looks like, actually. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows what... I mean... I, I, yeah, who cares? I'm going to kill him. I'll, I'm going to eat this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> Let's go. There's some robots out here. All right. Now... Jasper, you didn't open up that other door. Here. I am going to... Because I'm not going to let out a criminal. No, hold on. Well, I am going to let Bryce play two characters right now. You're going to let now. out the weasel? I didn't do that. Let me see here. Sorry, what? I said I'm going to let Bryce play two characters here now. <laughs> well, it is pushing 10 o'clock. Yep, we I know. It's a to... great place to stop where it's like, what? And you're going to want some time to read. That's what I figured. Yep. So let me just... Yeah. Oh, come on. Hi guys. Yeah. So fancy meeting you here. Here saw here, something that here. looked like a well back that way. Did you say well? Well, actually. That's what got me here. Alright, there you go, Bryce. There you go. Boom. That's right, you guys open up that one. You see this young looking rogue sitting there 
smiles as you guys open up that door and you're like come on let's run and dun, 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 that's where we're gonna stop it <laughs> right on quite the cliffhanger oh man yeah he's got some reading to do well the weasel's evil too so he's not the same weasel well, he used to. or he to or do. is he or is he you got some reading to do <laughs> who the fuck's weasel exactly yeah, he's like Who's the weasel? i mean none of you guys know except maybe maybe jasper would have heard like uh stories yeah, and i was thinking about that too name, name might have come up exactly like that name like the weasel would have come up you know at some point oh come on come on don't be modest he's legendary throughout all the land uh, unless he's been sitting in this prison do. for a while <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean there's been some things like over, it's funny because there have been things that you guys have kind of thrown out and theories and fuck you yurik fuck you Yurik. <laughs> right um <laughs> the, uh there's been theories and stuff you guys have thrown around like during just casual conversations over like the last several like i don't know half dozen game sessions that i've been like i've been like oh man they're really close they're really close on some of these theories that they have some sometimes you guys are way the hell off but <laughs> sometimes it's like oh that one's really close so yeah that was awesome all right let's take a look here let's see where everybody is at uh so I'm just crying. Uh, do I get to start the next game? Crying? <laughs> so smash, smashy. Hand. Let's do. Um, oh no, that's right. Third, you lost your hammer. Yeah. So let's. I have a javelin, but maybe we can fashion something for you. And so, a club. so let's do twelve seventy-five for experience. Experience points. You can add one thousand two seventy-five. Holy shit! Excellent. That's a lot. Yeah, Jesus! Did you guys, you took down a flipping army of twelve seventy five. You guys took down a flipping army, not twelve thousand, right? But one thousand two seventy five. You guys took down a flipping army of veggie pygmies, got them to surrender. You guys again encountered these flipping police robots, uh, of which. Eh, you guys kind of did okay with. I loved the fire, and I loved the breath weapons. That was awesome. Like that really helped out. You know, I kept thinking, gosh, they need you know something like a fireball, something, right? And so the breath weapons coming up, awesome, for sure. From brothers to the rest, right? And so, so yeah, so I say twelve seventy five. For the uh, XP, and then of course, uncovering major, major plot element of discovering the weasel locked up in the police headquarters, police robot headquarters in this thing. In a completely different dimension. Right? It's like, what is this? What does it. I tell you, I didn't know it was the robot chief's wife. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought it was an ashtray. I honestly thought it was an ashtray. Oh, man. So, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on the character sheet to be to be read. Um, and, uh, yeah. For the weasel. What's that? For the, For weasel. the weasel. Yeah. yeah. So Bryce has got a bunch of stuff to read so, and yeah. decide what gets revealed. So the, we the weasel often sticks his dick in ashtrays? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Anyone Don't knock fit? it till you try it. Yep, right on. So yeah. Did anyone did anyone hit fifth level? I didn't oh, get the, I haven't calculated mine, I'll do it later. Probably I didn't tomorrow. get the character uh mentor thing. I think we're close. Uh oh no. So like fifteen hundred away. Well twelve hundred or something. Dun, dun, dun. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the... And Brassbot gets half that, right? Oh, yeah, I don't know what I'll do with Brass, but... No, I don't know. We'll figure it out. The <laughs> um, uh, No, we, we haven't been doing any XP. Like, when Keith missed, he didn't get XP. Um, like, really, when anybody um, has missed, we haven't been doing... 
uh, XP. So he'll just be a little bit behind. Okay. All. But he's, you know, it's all good. He'll only be behind by 1,200 XP. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the uh, the live stream. So tune in next time. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and all that uh, fun stuff. And uh, and be sure to follow us here on Twitch. Weasel in the gang's back, baby. <laughs> right? Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Good night, all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>